Hey guys, Metal Gear is a brushless system, waterproof, metal dry shells, metal chassis, oil shocks and a lot more. This car has got it all, but for a price you won't believe. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a newly released RC car to look at. So the box is quite boring, but what's inside there is very exciting. So inside this box we will find an RC car with a metal chassis with oil shocks, metal gears, a brushless set of ball bearings for only 90 bucks. So let me first get everything out of the box and show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find a car, a transmitter, a USB charger, an 1800 milliamp LiPo battery, we've got a wheelie bar, some tools and some instructions. But let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. This is the transmitter and it runs on 4 AA's which you need to supply of your own. So the overall build quality feels very sturdy and it's capable of one end driving. So these are just fake buttons, they don't do anything and yeah this logo I uh, yeah, don't like it because this reminds me of the Tamiya logo and it seems like they have tried to copy it a bit so yeah I don't like the logo. So the steering and the throttle feels okay-ish but yeah the movement of the throttle stick so the forward movement seems to be go uh, to go further than the backwards so that's a bit strange so on top of here you've got like a funky sticker on top of there so that's quite funny so this is your on off switch your steering trim and your throttle trim and that's all to say about it and here is the car guys, what do you think of the appearance? Well I am a big fan of the black orange color, but the body art on there isn't really my flavor, but it is what it is. So in the front of the car you will find some LEDs right over there, and we've got an LED bar sitting right over there. So the wing is made of a very flexible material, and I really like that. So in the front of the car you can see some metal cups, and we've got some metal CVDs, and of course we've got ball bearings. So the tires, they have got some foams inside there, but this, yeah, the shape of the tire seems a bit off in my opinion. So we have to see if these tires will give us a lot of traction when we drive it off-road. But we will see that when we're going to drive this little car. So in the rear of the car you can see the very big oil shocks. And these are adjustable so that's a big thumbs up already. So we've got metal dark bones sitting right over there. Metal cups throughout the car. And underneath the car we will find a metal chassis with hex hardware throughout. So let me get the body up and show you what's under there. Here you can see the LEDs and a little connector that goes inside the receiver ESC combination. So when removing the body, just be careful not to rip the wires apart. Underneath the body we will find a very clean setup and I really like the appearance of this. So over here we've got a 2845-4400 kV waterproof motor and that's a big thumbs up. So this is your 2-in-1 receiver ESC combination and I think it's a 45 amp ESC. So that little button is your on off switch, the white one is for the LEDs and this is your 3 wire servo and I really like 3 wire servos. Why? Well if you want to upgrade the servo that's an easy job to do. So over here you can see your battery compartment and it's like a clipless uh, yeah battery click system and I really like that so this is your metal bread uh, yeah metal chassis brace and this thing really feels sturdy so over here you can see the metal drive shaft so we've got metal gears inside there and of course we've got ball bearings so all the arms are just fixed but they are made of a very flexible material as you can see and I really like that so the flexible most of the time it just flexes and it doesn't break pretty easily but we will have to find out when we go drive this little car so let me throw in some batteries to show you when it's on so guys the car is powered on and here you can see the leds so steering wise the steering servo has got plenty of speed and it's got the decent amount of power so throttle wise this is full throttle And that is pretty noisy if you ask me, so that's making a lot of sounds. So wheel speed seems all okay, but remember this car has got only forward and reverse, so no brakes. Oh wait, maybe in the manual we can change that, wait a sec. 
I didn't find any way to change it into forward brake reverse, so just be careful when driving this thing around. So there's only one thing left to do, and that's take it outside for a spin. So guys, the first thing that we are going to do is to see how fast this little car can go. Unfortunately, my measuring device has decided to die, so we have to eyeball it. So I'm driving one-handedly, so I tried to do my best to keep it in a straight line, but yeah. Let's see how this car performs. Here it comes, full throttle. The car is pretty quick, but I don't think it's safety like they've ridden on the box, but it can do wheelies. Oh, not into the ditch. So guys, here's the car driving off-road and it does a pretty good job and it is pretty quick too. And you can do wheelies, I'm really impressed with this little car. Here we go, wheelie wheelie. Whoa, whoa, big rock. Oh, another big rock. Full power. Oh, that didn't went well. The car is all fine after that big crash onto the rocks. And here it goes, full throttle. Only that you don't have got like the brake function. I really don't like that because you can strip the gears, of course. Full power, ho, oh, tumble one ball, let's recover it. One thing that I'm noticing when using only a tiny bit of throttle, the motor will crack as you can see and there's not a lot of resistance. So yeah, if you want to get moving, just apply a little bit more force and then it goes. Did you see that the wheelie? This car is pretty quick. And until now, nothing broke and I crashed all a million times already. Here it is again. Full power. Whoa, yeah, we recovered it. Here it goes. Oh, almost hit the tree. We first. Whoa! <laughs> this car is pretty nice. Oh, big, big crash against the rock. Oh no, just look at that. Well, it seems there is no damage. Oh, I, re I forgot to remove the sticker. <laughs> Did you see the rock? Until now the car performs pretty well and it's holding up pretty good. So I crashed it already a million of times, but still it's running. Here we go, full power wheelies. Yeah, I really like that. So I will just give you some driving footage and then I will give you my final opinion. Oh. So guys, that was the driving with this car. And what do I think of it? Well, for 90 bucks, you will get a great car. You've got oil suspension, metal gears, metal drive shafts, a brushless setup. You've got a lighting system inside there. And it's pretty tough too. So I tumbled it around like a million of times. I hit some pretty big boulders. Of course, we've got some, str uh, some scratches all around the car. But it's still in one piece. And that's pretty awesome. So it's pretty fast. I think it was like 60 k's an hour. And yeah, I really like the car. But there's only one big big downside in my opinion and that's that you don't have got any brake functions so when you go forward and then in reverse you don't have got any brake it just goes straight into reverse and I think that's a bit of a flaw with this car but overall it's fast it's durable and I had great fun bashing this car around so I put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video bye bye